I love it when the heavyweights get banging. Um, we had Tui uh, Tuvasa versus Greg Hardy at the heavyweights. Um, fight was fight was brilliant. The knockout, wooey, wooey, and then and then the shoe at the end. Let's 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 duck right into that. What did you by, What did you think, gents? Yeah. By the way, that knockout was. I just love heavyweight fights. I don't yeah, know about you guys. Danger. But it's danger. It's just danger. You cannot. You cannot be on the. You cannot be on the attack all the time because there's danger. There's jeopardy at all times, exactly. right? In that in that division, um, unless you're John Jones who moves up, and well, we can argue that he can knock someone out, but all those guys legit can put anyone yeah. out. Um, and in, in watching it, right, I thought I thought Greg Hardy started okay, mm. um, and it was almost like a. It wasn't against the, the it wasn't against the flow of the fight, but again, heavyweights it just it just happens, just and he knock. and Tuivasa's yeah. got a, he's got one punch of power. Right. And, and and you know what, with the finish, I think it's something we can definitely review again. But with the finish, I thought tu- Tui played a little bit of duck duck goose, because if you recall, Hardy connected, and he kind of staggered backwards, and his belly shook a little bit, and I think honestly, no, honestly, he gave a little belly shake, like almost like whoa. And so that, as you see, Hardy then takes three big steps like he's like, why, I'm going to go and land the big one. And as he's throwing, bah, bah, right. Tui just gets him nicely, like right. literally sees the gap. So I honestly think that Tui played a little bit of like, he suckered him in. Chicken, yeah. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know what you mean there, but he was hurt. He was hurt 100%. Greg Gre- Gre- Hardy froze. I, I agree. I, I agree too. He, yeah. he, he was hurt. But that's the thing, you just can't go charging in like that at heavyweight. But bear in mind, though, we've seen that before, right? With the heavyweight title fight. <laughs> um, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, Miocic thought he had Ngannou out of there a moment, charged in, and a left hook from Yaounde came and landed on him. You know, so heavyweight fights, is like that, right? Uh, but then the Shui, what, 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 what's, what's that about then? Like what? What the hell is that about? I know, I know, not to jump sports, but I know Daniel. It's a, it's an Aussie thing, isn't it? Because obviously Daniel Ricardo does it um, in in Formula One, and okay. did you? And as he walked out of the arena, so he did the one on the cage, which was with a Nike Dunk. Yeah. And then I think he got, honestly, like, I was just, I was shoe watching. I was seeing why. Right, what, what valuable sneakers is he drinking? Yeah. Drinking this beer out, obviously. <laughs> and then and then so no, sorry, that was a Nike SB. So he, he drank out of that one and then threw that back to whoever threw it in. Wasn't too such an exclusive but by shoe, the way, but still it's a random as shoe. Pretty much. Anyone. Anyone. Do anyone. Do he will do a shoey from your shoe. Okay. So which I, he did. I, which he did. As he walked out, he did about four or five shoeys of randoms from the crowd. I thought he had like a shoe Mm-mm, ready. Like, like no. Those, that's clean. Like a, what, a, gold, a golden, <laughs> a COVID-free, sanitized shoe. Uh, if, bro, <laughs> like... How, mm. like any yeah. shoe, corns, verrucas, doesn't matter what your feet are being. Athlete's be. foot, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Athlete's foot. He will, he will drink out of it. There was even a Fair fan, I think top tier, just as he's about to go down the tunnel, he goes literally top tier. He, 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 he puts, throws the drink down from his shoe, from like, let's say level one in the arena. And two, he's at the bottom and he just opens his mouth and just gobbles it up like uh, a bird. You know, like when birds are like literally yeah. get, get feeding, <laughs> feeding their babies from regurgitated worms. That, that was what he was doing. It was unbelievable. Oh, I, I, on, in terms of celebration, he can't be touched. That's just disgusting in my eyes. But yeah, good, good, good for him. Fair play to him. Um, so what, what we're saying is next for him then, like the heavyweight division. Um, I'm what, not sure. What did, what did you do? What did the rankings rankings look like? Yeah, I'm not sure. While well, whilst we pull up the rankings, um, f- from from my head, I just think he's. Do we think he's that next tier up? Can can he be the next level up? Because at the moment he's doing really well. The title of us. I think he lost his last fight, did he? Or am I am I mistaken on that? I think I think he won his last fight, but he I think he lost about two or three on the bounce before right, that. Okay. Um, just to put it in perspective. Tai Tuivasa is not in the top 15 heavyweights. Mm, they, right. He's unranked. And the same with Greg Hardy. Yeah. Uh, wow. Greg, mm. So you see the likes. So when you get into the top 10, you see the likes killers. of your killers. Yeah, okay. Top six, should we say. So you see Rosenstrike, top six. I think Rosenstrike does him. Yeah. Volkov, number five. I think Volkov does him. 
Curtis Blades does him. This is what I mean. Like, yeah. uh, like, do we think he's got that next tier up in him? And uh, he's great. He's brilliant, right? Mm-hmm. Celebration, all Aussie, all of that good stuff. But um, has he got the skills? For needed? me, he's a personality and a and a character. I don't think uh, for, my gut tells me, for example, even at his weight, he's probably not even the best at the gym. In the gym, for example. <laughs> no, honestly, like I, I, I think he's he's almost like one of those colourful characters that you just want around to kind of break away the, the autonomous nature, and he does it in a respectful, fun-loving way, rather than. And it's nice to switch it up. We don't always need trash talking and people dissing yeah, mums and wives yeah. and religions and stuff. But but he's just you know he's just there. Like, he's like, I'm gonna. That's just always always. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he's just there. I, I think for him, if he was to break into the top ten, that would be a massive thing for him. I I, I believe. I just yeah. think he's just going to be one of those guys who's he's almost just there. It's his job. He's yeah. not really. I've never heard him go. I want to be world champion. You know what I mean? Call out anyone? Yeah, yeah, exactly. He hasn't called out yeah. to my belief any any name. So for me, yeah, he's not really going to be in a championship picture. But hey ho, you know, if if he were to maybe move, I'm not saying he should, but if he were to move. At moving camps, for example, even moving a country would be a change of mentality. If you're surrounded by killers, you know, iron breeds iron. It, 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 things might change. You know, let's not put him, you know, put his, his destiny in the hands of just being another guy who just fights in the UFC and doesn't even touch the top five. So you never know. It, it, that's, something like that might be needed.